Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, we're in overdrive. Let's go to Patrick in Oklahoma. You're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hi, Alex. Yeah, I'm Patrick. I'm a pastor in Oklahoma, and uh, I just wanted to give you kind of my view on your show. I've been listening for a number of years. I really enjoy particularly the news that you'll hear from your show that you can't hear anywhere else. But I've been noticing more and more over the last few years, Alex, that your show has a lot more to do with spiritual things. So you talk about, you know, evil and, you know, what Satan is doing on the earth and everything. And I understand that, and I agree with, with uh, a lot of the things you have to say about that, but I did just want to bring up to you and, and make aware to you something um, about that in particular, that when you are, you know, searching and uh, looking at, you know, in, looking in the face of the evil day to day, it really can have an effect on you. And, um, you know, the Word says, for instance, that uh, a, uh, we are to be wise concerning what is good and simple concerning what is evil. And so, of course, I mean, it also, you know, you probably know this. Well, undoubtedly, say, I know when you start getting into preacher territory, the preachers will start judging you for what you do or what you say. And I'm the first person to tell you, you know, that I come off, you know, more like a drill sergeant than a preacher. And I'm not saying I'm a preacher and I am desperately wicked. So I'm not judging anybody here. I mean, I just, you know what it is? I'm getting more and more real with people on air. What you get on air now, in the 19 years I've been on air, is exactly what I'm like. I was never fake, but I'd hold back and stuff. Man, I just say what I'm thinking, I, and I am who I am. You are getting what I'm like if we were out on the dock fishing. I mean, this is, this is who I am. This is it. And I understand. Um, the only thing that I wanted to mention to you was just this, that um, there is a danger in only searching and looking for what is evil in this world. It actually absolutely has an effect on you. I've seen it happen in too many Oh, my gosh. I was thinking that this morning, that the big point I wanted to have as a talking point was look at the good in the world. Because if we only cover the bad in the world, uh, then it almost becomes a disease. But I'm exposing the evil so that we can protect the good. But I get what you're saying, and I've told my reporters – Let's cover good stuff cops do and good things politicians do. And I was doing that earlier in the show, you know, about movies with good messages versus bad. I did, and I agreed with you there. Um, the only thing I want to get at is that when it comes to you exposing spiritual wickedness, I also maybe suggest that, hey, perhaps we uh, also make it, uh, it aware about spiritual good things. I don't know if that would ever be something you could talk about on your show or not. Well, I do talk about the good stuff. But listen, God bless you, and I appreciate your call. Man... You know, one good thing about the broadcast is it's totally real and see the pants. That's also a bad thing about it. Because, I mean, I'll have my earpiece go in my ear and say, give me pliers on air, not even thinking. I just want the thing out of my ear. Should have just got off the air, gone in and got pliers, got them out. I mean, it looked ridiculous what I did that day. But it, it just was spur of the moment. It was like sliding into my ear, and I just did it. I mean, I'm real, folks. I, I don't have time or energy to put on an act is all I'm trying to say. So you got to put up with me. Uh, let's talk to Ed in Florida. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing, Alex? Good, brother. Hey, I, I was calling in regards to uh, the president's visit to Orlando, Florida yesterday. He came to Valencia College. You know, I, I, it was a private meeting, so I'm assuming he went there to promote uh, the Affordable Health Care Act. But uh, one thing we've been noticing in Turner every time he comes to Orlando is that the chemtrails stop the day before and the day off and the day after. So it's almost like, you know, we have perfect weather, as I told my wife. Well, there is a geoengineering program going on, and it's declassified. The details aren't. And it's aluminum dioxide, barium salt. The soil's building up with it, and... They just play God. They put stuff in our water. They put stuff in our food. It's all funny to them. Yeah, it's crazy. Have you seen that trend elsewhere, elsewhere in the country? Like for Washington, D.C., for example, do, do they not chemtrail there because a lot of the people who are involved in this are staying in that area? For most yeah, of the I don't life. know if it's what they call circumstantial evidence, but I have heard about that trend, yes. Interesting. Okay, well, carry on, carry on the good work. I appreciate your uh, Let me call. Talk sure, to sure. But when they're, thank you, when they're spraying stuff at 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 feet, that's creating persistent contrails to manipulate the weather and other things. That stuff's coming down thousands of miles away in the jet stream. So it's not like they don't spray up there that day because Obama's there. Um, so I don't know, man. All I know is there's a bunch of secret stuff going on. I'm sorry, the other callers. 
I uh, tried my best. We're out of time. Great job to the crew. Nightly News, back tonight, 7 o'clock Central, PrisonPlanet.tv. And I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. with a live Sunday transmission. The number one secret to have... These are legion. Sodium fluoride.